Hello, my pretties. I'm going to be doing um, a read twice a month. Okay, this is going to be a reoccurring read. It's going to be a full moon read and a new moon read. Because the energies are like so uh, temperamental right now, like this is literally a tug of war between good and evil. Okay, these lower vibrational beings, entities, energies, Stephen peoples, whatever you want to call them, karmics, whatever. Um, I just heard of soulless beings, child. Um, whatever it is that you know they're doing they're very desperate a lot of them are possessed check my you know all the zodiac reads check all the reads i did before this child it's just a lot so that's why i said what i'm going to do is i'm going to offer um a reading every month um reoccurring what's going to happen is i'm going to depending on what the reading says needs to be done or whatever spiritual attacks that may be coming or whatever you need to manifest right whatever spiritual work needs to be done i'll then turn around go to my office get what i need to get to um help you uh depending on what comes out here okay and i'll offer that bundle at a much more discounted price than um the regular bundles okay and it's only going to be for a couple of days so you guys got to hurry up and make sure you get on it because i want to make sure i get it to you guys in time for you to um utilize it during whatever moon it is now real quick if you decide to work with me like on some life coach type shit and subscribe you know to um I'll put the link below, but when you subscribe, you will have already been updated before anybody else gets updated as far as full and new moon. You understand what I'm saying? Um, because this read will happen like every week. I mean, every two weeks. Okay. Cause that's when the full and the new moon happens or whatever the case is, but you'll be updated before then. Um, I'll do two reads where I pull from my deck, which basically tells exactly what it is that you need. Um, and you'll see how my deck really gets to the down to the nitty gritty. If you want this, it's in the description box as well. Because you this is for your you could do this on your own. You don't need to be a tarot reader. Okay. But whatever comes out, I'll do a five minute five minute read for full and new moon for you in advance. And whatever comes out here, you will get that box, that bundle. Okay, the subscription will be one hundred dollars. Okay. Whereas, you know, and you'll get the, the whole bundle and you'll get the two five minute reads. So, you know, you know, look specifically, this is what you need. Doesn't, it does matter what comes out during the new and full, you know, read, but just in case your bundle needs to be customized and tailored to your, um, situation, your specific situation, that's the perks of subscribing. Okay. Everyone knows my reads are $75. You're going to get two little mini reads and you're going to get a full bundle, which is always priced at a hundred for just a hundred okay and you'll be ahead of the game so if you guys are interested in subscribing do so if not okay and you're not able to or you just don't wanna definitely take the advice that's given here and apply it okay because this is important this is like you know i feel like this is something that will help us Listen, this is a, this came out during like um while I was shuffling. Someone is going to a magic practitioner. Oh, okay, no, that that wasn't what I saw. I saw that there was a silent white worker that may be white worker that may be helping you. Okay, um, there's mirror work that's being done here. I don't even um show me new moon. You guys, I meant to tell y'all, you're not gonna be able to get this new moon bundle in time for the new moon. I'm just doing this read anyway. You can still get it. I'll still list it. You know what I mean? Because you're, you know, I mean, if they do some, if they do a spiritual attack, you're going to have to cleanse yourself and get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you're going to have to take care of that shit anyway. So regardless if you do it right before, okay, which is why I do these readings to be prepared, okay, for protection, not, you know, defense, but basically like boundary. Don't even come over here with that bullshit. I saw you before you came type thing, okay? So look, we have withdrawal. You are moving on past those who have issues with you. It no longer matters to you. Then we have pity parties. Someone is going through tough times and wants you to experience the same. I just heard from somebody it's maybe your ex, okay? So we have all in your mind. You are clear of psychic attacks and the evil eye during this time. Continue cleansing your energy. This is debris that I feel like is left behind. This is debris. And you're definitely going to need to do a cord cutting because with this all in your mind and pity party and this mirror work, this is, this is projecting. You're feeling someone else's feelings, okay? This person could be connected to a group of, of demonic energies and entities in the past, okay? In the past. 
Look, you see this light magic? Someone is working with good intentions to help you. This is what I saw earlier. So this is probably why, you know, when this person went to get whatever assistance or when they go to get whatever assistance, okay? Because this is, you know, this could have not happened yet or whatever. It could be a plan. Um, or this person could have always been going to them. Whatever it is, it's not working no more. Because someone is helping you, okay? Something I heard. I just heard something also. Okay, you never know. This um someone is using spell work with good intentions to help you. Could be me, you know, um, with uh, me using divination. I don't know, you know what I mean? Putting you on to the shit before it happens, you know. But yeah, this person is just mad. I feel like they're doing um they're partying a lot. Like this is the type of person that like says they're oh, I'm going out to a party. Yeah, I got an event to go to. And it's like somebody dusty ass backyard. That's what they're telling me. Like they drinking out of fancy glasses, but it's dirty or something. Like this is a person who like go to fish fries and feel like, you know, they were at the ball. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. But this is a this is a person who's very low level as far as like class is concerned i don't know i don't know what to say you know um fake flexing is the energy that i'm getting show me withdrawal please show me withdrawal you could have cut this person off yeah something happened there was something that happened i'm hearing aquarius there's something that happened the tower anxiously stressed out so something could i don't know somebody got hit in the head or something like that there's some sort of blunt force trauma or psychic attack. This feels physical. Okay, you could have punched this person in the mug in the head. Okay, moment of glory. Like I'm getting Mike Tyson energy. Baby, one, two, three. I'm hearing because he can get the knockout. Go when I throw this pussy, you better not start ducking, ducking. Yeah, we're really defensive in conflict. Somebody got bust in their head. And kicked out and sent out into the world. There's whatever happened, okay? This person saying, "Watch me work." So this person went behind your back to to some another male energy or a friend of theirs to to put your name on some sort of contract that was going to benefit them, but you were going to lose in it. Like this person did something out of anger. They did it with a um with an elder. A Gemini could be involved and a Scorpio could be involved as well. This could be a father figure. This could be your, your boyfriend, your husband, or their boy their boyfriend or husband, or they and, and they father, their father. Yeah, with this emperor energy, somebody's husband, soulmate connection place. This person was either romantically connected to them or you. They ran right to them. With this reciprocity, they told they told them something. You could be in not in communication. This is like a, this is like somebody, okay, who did something, okay, and you don't want to mess with them no more, okay? This person could have been stressing you out or whatever the case is, good, goodbye, good riddance with this moment of glory, okay? It doesn't matter to you. You've done what you've done. I'm getting this energy of like, you know what? I did all I can do. And this person went for, to some, for some help, okay, to your disgruntled ass ex or your disgruntled ass uncle, father, whatever. It's somebody that's connected to another person romantically, okay? And they went to that person for assistance. So this is like somebody who you, you, you were cool with and everything was fine with y'all till it wasn't no more. You was tired of this person's shit with this anxiously stressed out way. There could have been a physical altercation and this person went in and par with your enemies. Told them, told them shit that they had no business telling them. Okay. Show me mirror work. I'm hearing this person got time to party, but they ain't got time to get their shit together. Something about a person can't even get their nails done. Child. Y'all know I'm grinding. Everybody know my nails always done, okay? I could look a mess and my nails gonna be done, okay? But I just, I ain't got, I ain't got time. Something shady and restful solitude. Wait, so this person was gonna do, some, do you something out of anger, okay? This person was gonna do you something. 
and it was gonna set them up. I just heard set for life. Child, I, um, they was gonna turn into the Queen of Pentacles, the star, the Hierophant. Ah, I hear the crowd roaring, roaring. Like this person is stupid. I try not to say stupid, but this person is stupid. We have Aquarius and Taurus. Like this person, this is a person who's very dangerous to have them around because they will turn on you at any given moment out of anger. And it's sad because it's something that's within them. They're having tough times. They're having a pity, pity party. They're projecting onto you. And you still got to get the shit into the state. With the sun energy, I just feel like this person was called out on their bullshit. That's it. Their bullshit was illuminated. There's something about somebody putting something in another person's drink at a party. Pisces could be involved because they had that in, in, in their read. I just heard be all liquored up, talking shit till this man got to come and pick him up. You got bitches in the back bouncing the jig or what? You got your hands up and I ain't even stick y'all up. This is a party. Throw the hands up. This person could have had a fight at a party. 12 a.m. on my way to the club. 1 a.m. DJ made it a rub. That, that, this is a plan. 2 a.m. now I'm getting with her. 3 a.m. now I'm splitting with her. Somebody could have, child, watch me work. Okay, so this person could have even been involved with trying to do that to you. Okay, with this watch me work energy. They trying to do you something and they getting done something by somebody else for some of y'all. Yeah, I think you stopped it. I think you stopped it with the um, queen of swords and indecision. Like, nah, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I'm getting a lot of crying energy in this, in this, um, in this read. I seen Aquarius and Capricorn just now. But that just gives me, that star energy gives me methamphetamine or some shit like that. <sighs> With this all in your mind, um, I feel like this person is being told that you're doing them something or some dumb shit like that. This person is like, pills and potions, we're overdosing. I'm angry, but I still love you. This is not even pills and potions. Child, this is your mama's on crack rock type energy. This is not like, I don't feel like this was willingly that they did this or something like that. There's something about this person being manipulated. I still love, I still love, I still love, I still love, I still love. Uh -uh. This person is weird, okay? Because how is it that with this sh something shady and restful solitude, you really tried to do me something? What is it? What you tried to do me? Knight of Swords? You tried, you, you tried to juke me? You was trying to juke me? Yeah, with this ambition and, and success. This is what you was going to do. You was going to benefit off of it. You tried to juke me. With the messenger of romance and invitations, they could have did it with a, with a younger male or did it with their boyfriend or did it with a friend of theirs or acted like they were cool with you. For everything's good with this happily fulfilled place. And remember, I'm not mad. No, 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 no. And texting you and, oh, I'm going through something right now. I'm coming over. And then attack. That was the plan. A Leo could be involved. A Leo could be involved. And this all had to do with um with some contractual energy. Let me tell you something. Let's see how you guys' this relationship was before that. How was the relationship between these two people before that? Between my collective, okay, and the person. It's a party. Three of cups. Everything was everything was fine. Everything was fine. And the Empress. You could have could have been married to this person. You could have been this person's mother or this person's child. Or this person could have looked up to you. You could have been some sort of matri matriarch. Then here go confusion illusions. This person could have came home from a party, started acting different, weird, better things ahead, and leave it all behind place. With, with the with the um ten of swords. This person is being um used like a wind up doll. And it could be for some drugs that they took at a party or something that was given to them at a party or something they smoked. I don't know. Maybe they checked in. Like, I'm literally hearing like, oh, this type of person, that if they didn't get their check that day, they check is late, they're going to go smoke crack. Just forget it. I, I'm going to go be a bummer. I'm going to smoke crack like that. Come on. Knight of Pentacles and a Three of Pentacles. So they went right to... Yeah. See, it says this person started acting wearily defensive with the better things that had way and leave it all behind. Somebody could have been trying to get this person to stop dealing with you. Okay, under confusion, confusing illusions. And that's where this stupid energy is coming from. This person could already be figuring that out, but, but doesn't want to admit it. This is a person who is very 
unself-aware, okay? They, they, they're aware of their self, but they'll never let you, let you catch them, okay? Knowing that they were wrong or they were on some bullshit. Strength and the chariot. It's a Leo and a Cancer that could be involved in this. Somebody was driving a specific car or something like that. I'm hearing drive-by energy too. Somebody could have drove by and threw something on another person. This seemed like... I don't know, because here again, we have somebody that's under, under the influence. Somebody may get stopped um, for drunk driving or something like that, put in jail, it feel like. A king of pentacles, I don't know. There's, there could have been a king of pentacles. This is going back to that setup energy. We'll talk about this later, y'all, okay? It's 15 minutes in. We'll talk about this later. We'll elaborate on this later, okay? But with this energy of a legion of demonic spirits have been dispatched to attack you through people around you, this is a person who is an open door for him downstairs, okay? They're not self-aware enough. They're, they're a void, okay? And, and, and so there was manipulation being able to take place with this person. All because they wanted their wishes to come true. This could be a money-hungry person, they, but they go, but listen, they just say, this is a money hungry individual, but this person is, is saying that, um, that they're ambitious. Okay. Goal oriented, not greedy and gluttonous. So we have light magic. Someone is using work with good intentions to help you. Okay. I'm not going to talk about who this is. <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about who this is, but this is a person that's, um, working in your favor. And they are shunning the devil, okay? They're working, working, trying to get this, whatever this is, off. And that's why this shit is not, you know, working, okay? You guys need to be, um, how do you call it? Um, revoking contracts, okay? Someone is casting love spells to win your love. Yeah, this person wants you to miss them with this quick communication and heavy burdens. Messenger of slow and steady. It could be coming in your dream. This could be if I ruled the world. Somebody could be Muslim. I free all my sons. I love them, love them, baby. This person might come back and apologize. I love you. You're my wife. I love you. You're whoever, okay? And it's all to still try to fulfill this contract with the moon energy overflowing emotions place to get you this, this shit has, they're going to try this plan all over again. A Sagittarius could be significant here. This person is going to try this plan all over again. They're very determined to do you something strange for some change. Okay. And this could be somebody who you slept with, fed, broke bread with. Okay. Very Judas energy. So smoke. Smudge or smoke your environment with cleansing herbs, yeah. Okay, and listen to and recite mantras. This person is definitely trying to lower your vibration, especially with this energy of this demonic activity around you. You might benefit from getting that um, house cleansing bundle. With this yoga, stretching, and breathing exercises, I'm picking up stress from you guys. Archangel Gabriel, communication, visions, downloads, and re revelations and dreams. And that's what I was saying. This person is sending you dream state magic, and it's like for sympathy or something like that. Saying sorry, okay, now they're self-aware to say sorry now, okay? I just heard they could be planning to send somebody else in to say sorry to you or make you feel bad so you invite them back in and they could do the same shit all over again, back to the tower to try to fulfill this contract. So we have Jesus, life for guidance and protection, especially against demonic attack. You're dealing with somebody who's gang stalking. This is a legion of demons. They look like people you know and love, but that's not what they are, okay? So pray to balance the scales of justice against enemies. You could get my karmic justice candle. You could get just so Juez. I have that candle. Um, you could work with any deity like St. Michael or Shango who deals with balancing of the scales, okay? Even High John the Conqueror. So we have guarded, Guardian Angel, okay? Light for guidance, protection of children, and spiritual strength. This person could be coming for your, 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 your child. Using your child to get at you, so on and so forth. It says avoid doing dark arts at this time. Now what this means is, and I just had to go through this. Somebody do you something, okay? I just heard, I thought we was cool. Why you want me to die, homie? Many men wish that upon me, right? So 
you could have been cool with this person and you might feel like you want to do them something because don't play with my life don't play with my kids right so we have set up energy don't meet up or attend any events with people you don't fully trust i told you guys this person is now trying to set you up they're now trying to set you up pray against monitoring spirits be discreet they could have left something in your home then we have cursed item. Refrain from accepting gifts at this time. Dispose of anything suspicious. Okay. We have uncrossing. Light to remove cross conditions. They left something. Okay. In your home. Or they want to come back in your home to leave something. I just heard they could have left something on your womb. Out of anger. Out of anger. Spir look, look what I said. Spiritually cleanse your home. Light to aid in, in hex breaking, spell breaking candle. I have I have a lot of these candles. All right, you guys. I hope that helped. We're gonna take a look at this setup energy. This is something that's been coming up lately, and I couldn't even get through it. Okay, just too much. All right. Um, but we're gonna dig into this now. Okay. I hope that helped.